What's up guys, it's Bucky and welcome to another backgammon tutorial. Now in this tutorial, I want to talk to you guys about opening moves. Now there are a lot of different opening moves that you can do whenever you win the roll first. And again, another thing I want to point out, I'm going to cover all the opening moves, but if you can tell I'm not discussing doubles because that's impossible. If you roll a number and they roll a number and they're the same, then you roll again. So that's why I'm not going to be discussing 3-3 three, three or 5-5 five, five or anything like that because you can't have doubles on your opening roll. So let's go ahead and get started with the best opening roll, hands down, and that's a 1-3. Whenever you roll 1-3, you always want to play 6-5 and 8-5. This gives you your new 5 point, which is such a crucial point in the game, and also starts you off for a nice 4 point prime later on. Now with your 2-4, what I always like to do is, like I said before, build your 4 point using a 2 right here and your 4 right there. And again, this is a nice start as well. Now whenever you roll a 3-5, like I said, anytime you roll and the dice are separated by 2, you can go ahead and make a new point. So whenever you roll a 1-2-3 and your 5, you can go ahead and make a new point on your 3 point right there. Not a bad play. Now whenever you roll a 6-1, here's what I like to do. I like to go ahead and move my 1 from 8 to 7 and I like to play my 6. 13 to 7 right there. Now this is the only opening roll you can get where you can make an immediate 3 point prime. So you can clearly see why this is such a powerful move this early on in the game. Now whenever you roll a 6-5, here's how I like to play that. Now what I like to do is called running my checker. Now since these checkers have the longest way to go, you usually want to start those out early so they don't get trapped in. So with my 6-5, what I like to do is take this checker and move all the way on my 13 point right here. Not only protects it, but again, we want to get these checkers out early before they have a chance to build prime. Now whenever I roll a 2-1, here's what I like to do. I like to go ahead and move my 13 my 11 with my 2, and also my 6 and my 5 with my 1. What this does is a couple things. First of all, it gives this one protection because they're going to be hard to hit from their 24 point. And also, Whenever I move the 6 to the 5, it sets up your 5 point for your next roll, since look how many options you have of hitting your 5 point on the next roll and owning this point. Such a powerful move, and again, one of the most important points in the game to own early on is your 5 point. Now whenever I roll a 4-1, I play it a lot like the last time. I roll 6 to 5 and your 13 to 9, for all the same reasons I discussed last time. Now whenever I roll a 1-5, here's how I like to play this. I like to go ahead and move my 6 to 5, start building my 5 point and I also like to move 13 to 8. Now typically whenever you see a 5 on your opening roll this isn't the greatest thing you want to see since there's not a lot of useful stuff you can do with a 5. But anyways we're not really building anything new here but hey we'll take what they give us. Now whenever I roll a 2-6 I like to play my 2 13 and 11 and I like to play my 6 24 to 18 and here's why I like to do this. First of all we can either A start advancing this checker out, or B, set up building a point right here, and we're saying, all right, this is crazy because this is very vulnerable to be hit. Well, first of all, if they hit us this early in the game, check this out. They leave this checker right here open to being hit, which whenever I roll a six with this, I'm gonna go ahead and hit this. And also, you don't really have to worry too much about being hit early on in the game. I mean, this checker was already right here to begin with. And first of all, Early on in the game, your board is way open. It's going to be really easy to re-enter. They don't have any primes built right here or anything. So, you can take more chances early on in the game when your board's open, rather than later on when they have a nice prime set up and it's going to be hard to re-enter. Now, I go ahead and play 3-6, almost identical to 2-6. I go ahead and play my 13-10 and also my 24-18 to for all the same reasons as last time. Now when you have a 4-6, this is going to give you the most options, and all of these options are good. The first thing you can do is play your 13-9, 24-18, not a bad play. Or what you can do is you can use your 4-6 to build a new 2-point, which will either play your 4 right there and your 6 right there. This isn't the most useful point, but it definitely helps building a prime later on in the game. Or what you can do... Whenever you roll a 2-4, you can go ahead and set a runner out from 24 to 14. Now whenever you roll a 2-3, there isn't really a really great way to play this. But there's one thing that I want to tell you guys to avoid. 
You can do anything, any play is good. Just don't move your 13 to your 8. This is the most worthless play. It doesn't set up anything. It doesn't really help, you know, building any strategy whatsoever. So whenever you see your opponent roll a 2-3 to open and they move their 13 to their 8, you can say, all right, pretty much chalk it up as a win because you're playing with a noob. Now, whenever you roll a 3-4, here's how I like to play this. 1, 2, 3, move your 13 to your 10 and your 24 to your 20. Now, this chip is going to be relatively protected from getting hit from their chips on their 24 point. And also, you're setting up owning their 5 point, which hopefully you can build on the next roll. So, don't forget to look for this on the next roll. Now, whenever you roll a 2-5, this is a pretty terrible roll. It's probably the worst roll you can start out as. But anyways, whenever you get a 2-5, here's how I like to play this. I like to move my 13 to my 8, which again isn't really useful, but hey, we'll take it. And I also like to move 13 to 11. This is a really defensive strategy, but it's really the best play to play this role. Now whenever you roll a 4-5, here's how I like to play this. Again, not the best role, but we'll take it. What I like to do is play this one right here, and also with my 4, move my 24 to their 20. So what this does right here is... We want to set up owning their 5 points since this is probably the second most important point to own in the game. So look on the next roll when you get a 4 to move your 24 to your 20 and then we can own their 5 point. 